long before the race, they estimated that well over a quarter million people were at Epsom to see the derby. In this unique report of the world's greatest race and its preliminaries, Pathé News puts you among the crowd, gives you the close-up sound as well as sights of the big day. Just listen to the intimate pre-race babel of the Epsom scene. Can anything beat Seabird the second? The French horse is such a cast iron favorite, it's every punter's ambition to find a horse to beat him. Number nine, as before, is the son of LC, but neither royalty nor anyone else expects him to win. It's different with Nixar, very well fancied. While as for Seabird, they say he's the only horse to show real derby form this year. Here come the all-important little men with the big responsibility, soon to be in the saddle to ride in the world's greatest classic. Jockers, please mount. Jockers, please mount. Pat Glennon up on Seabird the second is an Australian rider. I challenge that to our native jockeys. Perhaps the best hope on our side of the channel lies in Irish-trained Meadow Court with Lester Pickett up. And listen to the mounting excitement as the race time gets nearer. That's, I say, Fosselet in the saddle. There were early morning attempts to novel Nixa, fortunately foiled. Seabird again, not showing a trace of Epsom nerves. Everybody, from Her Majesty to ordinary race goers, is keyed up now as the horses make their way towards the start. <laughs> 22 will run. They're not yet under starter's orders, but soon will be. <laughs> Directional microphones keep you up with the sound all the way. Nixar, Gulf Pearl and Meadow Court battling it out, though Seabird is well placed to make a big effort. Three furlongs 
out. I say has the lead on the rails, but watch Seaburn. Pat Glennon is going to give him his head. And Seaburn goes like the wind. Come up, Eddie. It'll be Seabird's race. Pickett brings Meadow Court up behind the fence coat. And by a good two lengths, Seabird wins the double. Bird, number 22. Second, number one. And bird, number seven. First, number 22. Once again, a French invader has humbled the native product. He's one of the really great derby horses Epsom has ever seen. And what a perfect combination. Seabird the second and his Australian jockey. and the Derby Trophy, enough to knock the balance of payments into the middle of next year.